Hey guys, I'm Eric Mayhem and today I'm going to show you some of my best gameplay recording programs. Some of them may not work good like in my case but there is always another way. So the first from the recording programs is called MSI Afterburner. You must be careful with this program because it has other features like overclocking and some other stuff. You must use it only for recording but it's not a bad program for the other things too. It makes small video files depend on your settings and it's swag free, at least for me. I tried it on my old computer and it ran good, there as well. The good thing is that the program is free and for everyone. You don't have to activate it because it's completely free. I'm going to do another video about the settings and how to use it. The second one is actually a built-in software for all video users. It's called Shadowplay and only requirements for this is to have G4 GTX 600 series or higher. It's built into your GPU. Intel i3 or AMD Athlon 2 or higher, 4GB of RAM, Windows 7 or 8. And you have to update your video drivers and install NVIDIA GeForce Experience, of course, to access Shadowplay. It's swag free as well as the MSI Afterburner. It doesn't affect the PC much and it's very nice and easy software for YouTubers and gamers. It also has the shadow time option. This means you can save previous gameplay with all recording. Just hit one button and you can save your last 20 minutes of gameplay. You can adjust the time as well, the quality and the frames per second are excellent too. It's very nice but only if you got Nvidia GPU. The third and the last program is DX Story. I personally don't recommend it for old or slow PCs because you can get luck. It's also not free and it's with license, but you can try it out for 30 days. It's more of the professional side of the recording and it's for more advanced users. This is just my opinion, but you can try it for free to see if it's suitable for you. It's, it's perfect if you do let's plays and not only, I'm just giving you guys an example. As I said, it's nice for more advanced users, it splits up the audio to two channels as well as MS Afterburner, I forgot to mention that. So if you are editing with Sony Vegas, this is best for you. The only difference is that MSI can record just for now 64-bit games. But I got that problem only with Battlefield 4, so if you want to record some games like BF4, you can use this or return back to Shadowplay. You got minimal FPS rules and it's very nice recording program. So thank you guys for watching my video, if you got any questions feel free to leave them, I'll answer to every one of you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.